Hi everyone, I recently showed this really basic DIY 360 spinner and it's kind of okay but it's not the smoothest thing ever. The idea is that I can create product shots for my videos where the item's spinning and it's okay but it's quite hard to get a consistent spin since I'm the one pulling this and it wobbles a bit and it can't really hold large items. So a lot of people in the channel said I should get a microwave motor and luckily my girlfriend was getting rid of a broken microwave so I was able to salvage the motor. So let me show you the new one that I've made. So here's the new one. I'll turn it on. It does make a little bit of noise. Now that's not a problem for me because I cut the audio and dub over it but let me turn it on and show you it. So you can probably hear the noise of the motor, kind of like a buzz. Um, but like I said, it's not an issue for me. But look at how smooth that is. Now, of course, at this angle, you can see the wire and the motor and everything. And it looks a little bit ugly. But if I angle it right, I should be able to make it so you just see the product that I'm reviewing and nothing else. So let me take this off and show you what's underneath. This is obviously just the plate from the microwave itself. And here's the microwave motor. Now, I did run into a slight problem with this and I'm gonna show you the weird wiring setup I've got. Let me just turn it off first. Now, the great thing about microwave motors is they normally run straight off 220 or 110 volts. Unfortunately, this one runs off 21 volts AC and I don't have any spare transformer around or anything like that. So I've kind of, mm, you know, hacked together a way of powering this thing and it does work as expected, but it took me a little bit of playing around to get it to work. So let me show you how I'm actually powering this motor. So here's the setup. I've got my regular 220 volt AC here. Plugged into that is a dimmer switch. This is normally for light bulbs, but of course we're using it for something else today. So I put that on its very lowest setting. Connected to the dimmer is a transformer. This is 220 volts to 110, but of course it's not getting the full 220 or at least not full wave because we've got our dimmer switch here. And then finally the motor is connected to this. So it's a very convoluted way of running the motor, but it does work. And since I already have all of this stuff, I figure I might as well use it because I don't have to buy anything extra. And I don't mind you know, spending just a couple of minutes setup time to connect the motor when I want to do this kind of shot. Now if you look at the motor, you'll see that it's 21 volt AC, um, around 2 watts, and it should give 5 or 6 RPM. So it's pretty slow and that's perfect. If I plug in my watt meter, we'll be able to check exactly how much power it's drawing. So if you look at the watt meter here, we're measuring 230 volts from the wall, and if we check the watts, we're drawing just 2.7 watts, 2.9. Now if I turn up the dimmer switch here, you'll see that the watts will start to increase and that increases quite steadily so I don't want to put it too high but there you go you can see even with just a little turn of this we're hugely increasing the amount of power that's being drawn so of course it's safe to leave it closer to what it's meant to be running at which is around you know two to three watts and if we measure the voltage here at the motor you can see it's around 19 volts so it's a little bit under voltage but that's perfectly fine if anything I'd prefer it to be under voltage and over voltage and that is AC, that's 19 volts AC going into this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me set up a product, put on the light and show you how it should look. So there you go, that's pretty much it. I can still play around with the camera angles a little bit and try and make it look, you know, more professional, but it definitely looks a lot better than the old one, a lot smoother and it should be a lot easier to edit. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.